Welcome back guys to Gold Speed Ahead episode 3. Today we're going to be focusing on all in, so we'll be all inning every matchup. Hopefully I don't lose a game. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good time. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I don't think we've lost uh, so far. Maybe I think we lost once. I think I left, I know I left the game. Well, the the owner of GG Tracker plays on this account, so our match history doesn't really uh, reflect. Uh, but I know I left the game on purpose because the other guy was like getting mad. So I left because he was like floating his buildings everywhere. But yeah, so uh, today we're going to be focusing on all-ins, only all-ins. Uh, hopefully we don't lose, because sometimes with all-ins, you know, if... Because an all-in is blind most of the time, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But we'll be trying to all-in with 100 APM or less, uh, which is quite a challenge, because it's micro-intensive. Um, what we'll... I'm, not, I'm still not sure what I want to do. There's a there's a bunch of all ends. I guess we'll start with a uh, old schooled uh, four gate. Four gate. Uh, if you're playing versus your friend, uh, four gate is best versus someone that opens um, factory. So if they open like barracks, expand factory, and then they're going into widow mine drop, four gate will be extremely good versus that because they're not going to have that many uh, marines and sure the mine will kill a zealot or two uh, or a stalker or two but they're going to have like 8 marines at best so for, in those situations 4 gate can be good I've seen, I, I don't remember who exactly I saw doing it and it's something I will start practicing soon also uh, versus Terran practice partners just because having an all in that's not too uh, of course, in lower leagues, 4 gates really popular, but at my level, having an all-in that's not too uh, popular is uh, can be good. So, we're going to do... I'm confused with my pro count. I don't know what happened there. I'm, maybe I was talking, and then I didn't make a pro, because I should be at 14 right now. But, well, we're not going to look back. So the, the nice challenge about this show is just to have under uh, 100 APM. The nice, the nice thing is just it makes, it forces me to be accurate because you know otherwise uh, it's not like there's anything else to do really. <laughs> 100 APM is quite uh, easy to accomplish or it's actually a little bit harder to stay under 100 APM. Yeah, I messed up one of my probes. No, floating a little bit too much money. So we're currently on the any server. Gold speed ahead is always on the any server. Uh, some of you guys might be wondering in the YouTube comment section. The last, my last episode took me forever to upload it. I'd like to apologize. To uh, the fans of the show out there, uh, I was uh, going to a LAN party with my friends at one of my friends' house, and uh, they didn't have good internet to upload it, and uh, yeah, just took a little bit. So we're just gonna for uh, just gonna it's a regular four gate. I guess it's the least uh, interesting all in to do with the show, uh, really. But uh, for those that don't know how to 4 gate, you just want to stop here at 24. Get the gates. Move out with a probe. The gates. And then make another stalker. And then make a proxy pawn on. And just never stop chronoing warp gates. We're going to poke up, try to see if there's a bunker. No bunker. That's the least favorable uh, situation. Oh crap. So much for being subtle. 
Maybe you didn't see the pylon. If you didn't see it back then, you saw it now. We're floating a little bit of uh, money. Um, I think I didn't chrono enough my war gate or properly. Oh, this is weird. Oh, this is bad. But we should be okay as long as we can uh, kill this depot and then we're gonna be able to get up the ramp. Let's see what he was going for. We don't want to get surrounded by the SCV so we're gonna get back out. The bunker is like fairly useful. It's unfortunate for this guy. So I think he did CC first. From the looks of uh, from the looks of it, you know, no gases. So that's something I don't actually do enough. But shift queuing uh, and focus firing with your units is extremely uh, useful. Just like that, really. So yeah, that's that's our first all, and I'll try to be more creative. I'm not. We're not gonna with the, with the show today with this hour that we're gonna do we're never gonna look twice or we're ne never gonna do things twice so now that we've done the four gate and pvt we're gonna move away from that all in um i guess all ins and pvz will be more tricky because in my opinion there's not that many good all ins uh, but we'll still we'll still do uh, at least at my level every time someone asks me about a build and chat i'm always thinking about at my level if you're below, you know, min master, a lot of all ends work as long as you hit your, um, as long as you hit your, uh, the, the clock, the, at what time you should be attacking. So, uh, we'll, we'll be doing a very, like, standard five, six gate all in. Um, might be floating a little bit of money, we'll see how it turns out. Someone's asking in chat what happens if I uh, end up getting promoted to Platinum. Uh, the owner of GG Tracker stays on this account. Like he plays in between my shows. And uh, I, I suppose he's dragging us down enough. So we're going to do the camera location just in case we have to transition from the all in. Um, By the way, I've made a guide on uh, Sim Cities, how to do your walls uh, on all the Season Five maps. So, if uh, if you struggle at putting down a wall at your natural, you should look it up. It's guide number eighteen. It's on my YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, well, you know where to find it. If you're not, uh, you can type exclamation mark YT in chat or exclamation exclamation mark guides. Um, and then it will link you to my YouTube or my guide uh, playlist. Whoops. Alright. So here really we want to see the gate timing or the spawning pool timing. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that if you want to go for an all-in and they're grabbing a gas or they're not grabbing a third, it's really not recommended. Um, you're better off playing safe and macro. Because some all-ins can work nicely versus, let's say, like, speedling with a delayed third. There's a playstyle from the Zergs, they, they grab speedling and they have a delayed third. And um, you can do so, uh, some sort of Colossus all-in, but it can always backfire if they, they do a Muta switch, you know. So you always, whenever they don't play quick third base, I feel like all-ins and two base timings are not as good. Oh, I should have made a pawn on. This guy went edge first, so usually when they edge first, I go for a uh, pawn on first. Um, but I got a little distracted. So 
So uh, we're gonna send a probe of the third, try to see if he uh, makes a third hatchery. And uh, I'm gonna delay my cannon, and I'm gonna chrono a little bit of probes because he went for hatch first. That's one thing to keep in mind. We've got our answer. Sometimes, if you want to go for an all in and they go for a uh, speed lane, because sometimes they can do speed lane with three hatcheries and just like all in you, uh, and then you try to go for an all in or something like a macro build and you don't have a zealot at your choke, you can die. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, the build we're gonna do here is gonna be. is gonna be just an all-in with getaways as soon as we get a hundred gas we'll be uh, as soon as we get a hundred gas we'll be team plus one and we'll be taking out probes out of uh, the geysers See, this might be an example of someone going mass speedling all in. So we're gonna put probes back into the geysers uh, so we can get a mothership core and try to scout ahead. Until then, we'll keep chronoing warp gates. Usually, if we'd be going for like a standard all in. Uh, I wouldn't make a third plan on here. I'd be getting my gates first. So we have a decent amount of gates. That's six gates. It should be enough. Our warp in should be at 750. So you see the gates are transforming. We're gonna make a few za uh, a few stalkers just in case there's roaches. No, there's no roaches, only things. I'm floating a little bit. I could have maybe added a few more gates or cut a little bit of workers. So I have plus one. I need dozen, so it's pretty much a guaranteed uh And then after that, you can transition. If, uh, if let's say, like you start losing everything to roaches, usually what I do is I transition into an immortal all in after this pressure. So I guess if I really wanted to do an all in, I, I should do an eight gate. I think would be slightly better. So really versus roaches it's important to focus fire like that with the stalkers. Oh well. People are not taking uh, kindly to getting <laughs> all in so far.
If you have questions in between games about things I haven't explained, feel free to ask. Alright, so we have a random player that's going to make all inning a little bit harder. I always want to try to put two probes per patch. It gives a really nice boost if you have two probes on the close patches and you have four close patches like this map. It really helps. It helps a ton. It's like a difference of like 50 minerals. Of course, you know if you're if you're struggling to uh, macro, then don't stress too much over it. But if you can manage to do it, it really helps. So we're going to do 13 gate. It's going to be uh, a little bit hard to all in if... Oh, I think I know what all in I'm going to do. If he's Zerg. Because I don't know that many all ins with a gate expand versus Zerg, but... Oh, so it's a turn. Uh, I think we're gonna do proxy oracle and two voyager all in. Will harass is SCV. I probably could have saved it, but I'm trying to stay under 100 APM. Rest in pieces. Oh, and now proxying crap. I lost my probe. <laughs> my proxy, my proxy Stargate. No. Okay, I'm gonna make the proxy Stargate here, because like you want here, here, maybe here. But we're too late for that, so the best I can do, and it's not, e it's not even going to be that good, is here. Because you want your Stargate to be the first thing you built when the core finishes. But we lost our probe. So that's a little unfortunate. And then behind that you want to do... Uh, you don't need a Mothership Core. A Mothership Core is slow and costs a lot of gas for a build like this. So one Oracle into two Voyager should be good enough uh, with three gates uh, and you add a fourth gate once you have your two Voyager's. Oh, we have a scouting little buddy. As you can see I'm using shift command. That's going to be the trajectory of my Oracle. You can start adding some gates. We will build. We will be building a proxy pond on closer over here or here uh, once we uh, have warp gate. Okay. Oh, there's no bunker. All right. You want to move in between the shots. And it's actually good to try to right click with uh, your, your with your mouse instead of a clicking. A clicking means you will never like not do anything with your stalker. But like I, sometimes I feel like I lack uh, confidence in right clicking just with the mouse only. And I think it's something that should be. Uh, 
I don't understand this guy. Why well, can't win that fight? The Marauder beats the Stalker, so we're gonna pull out. We'll be going when we have two void rays. We could go now and kill him, but uh, as you can see, we're adding the fourth gate uh, because we'll we'll stop producing out of the star gate. And at this point, we can we could have gone in a century earlier, really. Um, Chrono War Gate, and we'll go, and we'll bring uh, the probe for a closer pawn on, and we'll send back the Oracle. So that when we fight him at the front, the Oracle does damage. <laughs> that guy was fair play. Alright, so that all in, if the if the Stargate was a little bit closer and made earlier, is even nicer. Oh, I'm gonna be careful, I got some wax in my hair. Um, so yeah, so far we've covered 4 gate, we've covered uh, 6 gate pressure with Zots. Although if we really wanted to do an all in, we should have done 8 gates. And then we covered um, Proxy Stargate into one Oracle into two Void Ray with a four gate all in. Let's see. Oh, we get the same guy. Oh yeah, I'll be I'll be looking I'll be going back to my match history to see the EPM. Pretty convinced it's below 100, but some people are skeptical. They need to see it for themselves. So this map is kind of nice, and it's good for all ends actually. As you can see here, there's a lot of room for blink. And if you're playing versus a Protoss, Photon Overcharge doesn't reach here. If you're playing versus Terran, uh, the natural is kind of far away. If you're playing versus Zerg, uh, whoops, right. I messed that up. Rocky. If you're playing versus Zerg, uh, I have mixed feelings about this map versus Zerg. I don't think all ends are that good. There's a lot of rooms to get flanked. You know, if like you fight up here, you need like to force fill here and here and maybe here. If the Zerg is good, so oh, twice I forget to scout right away. That's a bummer. But yeah, we'll be trying to go for blink, even if it's versus Zerg. Well, actually, no. If it's versus Zerg, um, I'm probably just gonna end up doing uh, an immortal all in. Get the gate. Getting the gate kind of sucks if it's if it's Zerg. I prefer Forge Expand. So even though you have the Panon in the main, if it is a Zerg, you can do um, you can do uh, Forge in the main. You can just Nexus at the natural and then do Forge in the main. I uh, hear he's got a gas, so you always gotta be careful when they have a gas like that. Um, But he, he's not filling it up, so maybe that was a mistake. You know, he's a random player. That's very possible. Oh, second pawn on a little bit late. So he did fill the gas. And my base is not very pretty. So we'll be making the Zod, and uh, well, I guess he's gonna attack me. If he's got Speedling, he's gonna attack me. Uh, 
I don't think I can start the wall at natural without struggling. We'll try it. It might backfire. I would have to make the wall now. Which I guess I can do. Because he still hasn't grabbed his expand. Yeah, this game is funky. Okay, we'll 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 add the the nexus and then we'll finish the wall off. And then we should be okay. He's gonna have speed anytime soon. So I wanted to do uh, I wanted to do a mortal, like a robo, but my natural. I guess it's not too late. Alright. I okay, so I will say something. And it might not reflect the views of GG Tracker, but uh, we're we're gonna go for the all in anyway, and we're gonna say YOLO. So again, this does not reflect the views of GG Tracker. Those views, those opinions are my own. So we're gonna YOLO. We're gonna YOLO this. Well, I okay. So this is uh, the Naniwa build, a lot of people like asked me, I think it was for like three weeks after DreamHack, it's like, hey that's Rob, you seen the Naniwa build, it looks so cool. And uh, I was not a big fan, I'm still not a big fan, but <laughs> it is like one of the only all-ins I know how to do off gate expand, so we're gonna live in the moment, we're gonna finish our drinks and yell YOLO and a shady bar so uh, every week uh, from now on we'll have a team for a gold speed ahead. This week the team is uh, to all in. Next week will be uh, probably harassing. So we'll be focusing on harassing in every matchup. Um, and yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'll leave the sentry at home so we can force field. And then I think we're good to go. And then uh, obviously the Warpism will help the Immortals. Uh, the Warpism will help the Immortals be immortal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry. Um, so because he committed to Speedlings, I should be winning here pretty easily. The reason is uh, he's not focused on economy as much and he shouldn't have enough units to beat what I'm doing. Of course if you're playing like I Master, they're probably going to go for uh, they're probably going to go for uh, <laughs> for Muta Switch and they're going to have a better economy um, and etc. But as you can see it's quite a slaughter. And this time around he didn't GG, so we'll GG for him. So some people wanted to see the APM. 
So that was my PM this game. Take a look at last game. That was my PM 70. The old game before that. 76. The game before that. 67. And if we just compare it to the owner of uh, GG Tracker. Oh, 73. All right. Let's continue. If you if you guys have questions about the builds I use, only for the builds I use or things I explain that you didn't understand, feel free to ask in chat.